We just made our front porch rule sign using five fence pickets and it cost about eight bucks and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? Of course you do. That's why you're here. And we do this every week. Ask these cool guys down here. This week, we're doing another variation on a front porch welcome sign. Well, it's really a porch sign. I mean, I guess it's kind of a welcome yeah. sign. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe it's not your front porch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this for my sister-in-law and my brother. We're going to go for a visit and they have the best back porch ever. I mean, you just want to spend your days there. So this is a cute little sign to go on their back porch. I think it's perfect for them. We might have a couple of photos of Kim sleeping on that porch. No, please do not. Please do not show those. I don't want to show those. You guys will have to. They're really, they're really embarrassing. <laughs> you guys will have to beg. If you beg hard enough, maybe no, I'll show No, them. they're really embarrassing. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We needed three dog-eared pickets. Boom, boom, boom. I think they're like $1.70 a piece. And then we needed two gothic pickets. Pickets? Pickets. Fence pickets. Fence pickets. These were like $1.50 a piece. Like all in, eight bucks. <laughs> No shoes, no shop. <laughs> Gotta wear your shoes in the craft room. No right, shoes. Kim? <laughs> I tried to have no shoes on, but I... Garrett's about to pull up his saw, and I walked right into it just now, and it about broke my little toe off, so... Guess what? Hold on. <laughs> shoes in the craft room! <laughs> shoes in the craft room. It's ruining the magic. Ruining <laughs> Go! go. <laughs> Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. We're just going to cut these dog-eared pickets down to 18 inches each. We're going to have like 10 of them, 12 of them, 11 of them. I think it's 11, yeah. And then we're going to cut the gothic ones down to about, about 60 inches. They're going to be behind it. That's what we're going to pin it to. And we're going to do all of that with my pocket saw. <laughs> Surprise! The pocket saw was down there. Surprise! You never see it coming. <laughs> Might have some sawdust in it. <laughs> All right. Little sponge 80. Just take off the burrs and stuff. Step three. Oh, now we're gonna stain and paint. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use this Verithane weathered gray for like four of the boards. Four of the boards are just going white. And then we're coming in with Serene. 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 We're gonna alternate colors and this is gonna be a horizontally stacked sign instead of the two vertical pickets like we normally do these are going to be stacked one on top of the other alternating colors yeah all right Get let's fancy. do it are these all stained those are all stained yes. mm -hmm. we're doing all sides or just one side um since i'm giving it a gift i'm going to say both sides what do you think alexa Play Pitbull Radio. Just Step four, now we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna take those pickets that we cut down to 60 inches and we're gonna lay out all those 18 inch pickets that we just painted. We're gonna glue them down and then tack them down with a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Now if you wanna do this with no tools, you could do it with original Gorilla Glue. You just have to wait a couple of minutes before you can manhandle it. A couple of hours. Just put something heavy on each of the boards and let it set, and you could do it without the nail gun. All right, that's what we got so far. Ooh, trippy, huh? I'll do it. 
Not so fast, not so fast. <laughs> Making me seasick. All right. Step five. Now we're gonna put our words on the boards. We have this giant stencil. <laughs> I created this 60 inch stencil with each of the different but sayings for each board, but it doesn't line up perfectly. So what right, we're going perfect. to do is just cut each word so that we can make sure it lines up with the each board in the correct spot. Did mm -hmm. I get that out right? I think so. <laughs> and the plan is to put this stencil in our store as well, along with the SVG. We created the SVG for this one, so we can put that in our store as well. Doing the Mod Podge trick. Seal the stencil. Just a thin layer. The stencil didn't stick to the uh, stain. The stain was a little wet, so it didn't stick perfectly. So I'm gonna use this dabber. I'm gonna come in real dry. Hopefully it won't bleed under. Hopefully it won't be under. We talked about which one was going to do it. <laughs> he said, do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? I said, do you want to get yelled at or do you want me to get yelled at? And he said, all right, I'll get yelled at. I'll get yelled at. <laughs> but then I followed up with, it's going to look so perfect. Nobody will need to yell. <laughs> He's such a good sport. I think the trick is super dry. Start peeling up, see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Ah, eh? Eh? Ah, pretty nice, a little snazzy. Yeah. So beachy, I love it. I'm gonna throw some feet on it here in a second. We get a lot of questions about how to get these things to stand on their own. We use some of these L brackets that we picked up over in the garage organizing area. Just They're the shelf brackets. Shelf brackets. So you just spin it around. Bam. Done. Yep. We actually use these same brackets for our uh, herb pot. What was it? Yeah, the vertical herb garden. Yes. I'll leave a link over here. Yes, the vertical herb garden. And and I'll just tell you that that's been standing on our back porch for almost a year now. Yeah. And it's never fallen over. So they do a great job. What do you think? You like the colors? Would you have used different colors? Let us know down below what colors you'd like to use. I was thinking more of an aqua color, like turquoise or something. And I was thinking this was really like beachy and, you know, kind of chill for the front porch. Serene, yeah. right? It is serene. I guess the I color give blue. it back. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that bell because we do this every week. Give us a like, a share, and we'll see you guys next week.